you passed your IAS exam. Did you have to go to Delhi and study? Did you study out of Ajmer at the time? Uh, again, the struggles. I want to talk about the struggles because you were still doing tuitions and studying. Uh, Vishal, let me clarify. I didn't go to Delhi or anywhere. Yes, I did not yes. attend any uh, any classes from anyone. I didn't take any lessons from anyone. I just prepared hard. I was reasonably confident. Uh, I chose the subject which um, uh, mostly the people don't choose. So I had law as one of my uh, optional paper, and the commerce and accountancy as the other, because these were the two subjects I knew. Um, uh, whereas these were considered as uh, fairly difficult uh, choices by people. So. Uh, some people told me, "Why don't you take political science or public administration or history or something which are easier?" I said, "No, I I know what uh, I know, and therefore I would attempt with that." Uh, so I did not go anywhere um, uh, for uh, for tuitions or for uh, study or for practice or that that kind of thing, uh, and. Uh, as as it happened i got through in the first attempt and uh, i was fourth in the country uh, in the merit list you know coming out of ajmer uh, you know back back then when you look at is officers you thought about high quality uh, english speaking elite you know i'm just talking about india then and how did you manage coming out of ajmer that i had to know this piece called english also did you have trouble in the interview uh, see again uh, one has to be uh, conscious of the reality i uh, studied all through uh, in the hindi medium schools uh, and uh, but uh, in ajmer we had uh, excellent english medium schools as well ajmer is known in rajasthan at least as the uh, place for the school education saint and slums in saint pauls and others there are very nice uh, institutions and uh, at the college when uh, these schools merged right so people came from saint and slums people came also from the kind of schools i came from uh, Uh, and even before that i started realizing that uh, one will have to um, uh, master english uh, uh, and therefore um, around that time and i saw uh, these uh, students from uh, saint anselmos with fluent english also participating in english drama and um, uh, plays and uh, reading poems and uh, uh, many other things so uh, i then started uh, uh, trying to freshen up and make my uh, english a little bit better and uh, i remember the uh, uh, the newspaper we started subscribing one the indian express and it would take hours to finish the page number 1 um, because every uh, sentence you would have three or four things which uh, words which you don't even even know <laughs> very nice very nice title but think uh, about it. there was no google back then uh, kids watching yeah, there was this. no google <laughs> so they uh, they were, you you have to sit with a dictionary uh, and you have to understand each uh, and every word because not understanding is also a bad option you can't pass that giving a pass to a word without understanding is a waste of time so uh, but over the years practice uh, over the months if i may say so uh, the practice um, this practice made me i uh, remember in the second year of the college i decided to write my uh, uh, examinations in english and um, i was probably the only uh, uh, one from the hindi schools who decided to write uh, and uh, again the answers came out to be very well with